Today I will be showing you how to split images in Canva to make those large foam board cutouts that people use for birthday parties and graduations and all those good gravy crafty crafty things that all you beautiful crafters do. So the first thing you're going to need to do is I'm going to assume that most people are using an eight and a half by 11. So whatever size printer you have, that's the size you want your design to be. So this is an eight and a half by 11, a standard printer. Create your design of what you want your cutout to look like. So I'm doing this little graduation one. I'm not good at this, so don't fault me on my design here. So once I have my design set up for the way that I want it, what I want to do is go into my download. I want to download and I want to download this as a PNG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a new page. Once it's completed downloaded, I'm going to bring it in. I am going to set it as the background. Oh, there it goes. Set it as the background. And then what I want to do is go over to apps. So there is two apps. One is called Image Divider and the other one is called, we'll look at the other one, Image Splitter. And we'll look at Image Splitter real quick. Or maybe not. Where'd it go? There it is right there. So if you do Image Splitter and Image Divider, they're pretty much the same. So either one you can use, it doesn't matter. They're both pretty much exactly the same almost. So they'll both do what you need it to do. So what I'm going to do is you're going to do your measurements of how big you want your uh, foam board cut out to be. And then you're going to put in those met that here. So if you're going to need five pieces of paper across and maybe 10 down to make your image, to make it tall, that's how you're going to put it in there. So for for timing wise, we're just going to do a three by three and I am going to go and split the image. So what it does here is split the image and it'll say um, up here, what you want to do is add all new images to pages. So what it'll do is I'm going to go here and I'm going to add them to the pages. And what it's going to do is put each image on a separate page. So while that's uploading, so once you have that done, you can just print them out and then cut as you need to line them up and then cut around on your phone board. And that's how easy that that is. So now that you have them all done, all you have to do is re-download these. You can download them in a zip or however you want to, download them as PNGs, print them, cut them, and voila, you have it split. Now we can go over and look at the difference in image divider, if you want to, just for uh, the sake of looking at the difference, divider, enter, we're going to look at this one. So I'm going to go back over to this one here and I'm going to choose this file. Same here. You can do numbers of rows. Um, there is a border size, which I don't think you want a border because you don't really want to split these. Let's see what that looks like if it'll show it. I don't know. I think that would put lines in between it. And for what you want it, you want it to look seamless. So we really don't want that for this. And then you can go split the image. And it's same as before. You can add all the pages to here and it'll show you what all the pages are going to look like. And then you can just put them all together once you print it and then cut around on your phone board to make your large cutout for your party, your graduation, whatever you need to do. And that's how easy that is to do in Canva. I am Michelle. Thank you for stopping by. And I hope this little tidbit helped you out with something you're creating today. Make something beautiful. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.